<laughs> okay. First question for you two. What is the Holy Spirit's role? Um, for me, the Holy Spirit's role in my life is just like someone who is constantly present, you know, to help me make like the right decisions and just to know like which way to go spiritually, I guess. Um, I think the Holy Spirit is kind of our uh, mediator of sorts. Like it talks about in the Bible, like if you don't know what to pray, just utter noises and the Holy Spirit will like um, communicate on your behalf. I think it's kind of like our direct connection to to God. Um, gosh, I don't know. There's lots of roles. I feel like that. <laughs> it's pretty broad. I don't know. It's it's hard to say what the Holy Spirit's role is for us where we are in America. And I don't know. Like I just feel like it's tough to say um, what I don't know what the role of the Holy Spirit is when we're pretty consumed with with stuff and having answers that we create or if there's a sickness we want to create the solution to it and so I think that the Holy Spirit is a lot more powerful than we can really realize considering alright um, what is the role of the church in society I think society views church just as like a place to go and they view church as a structure when I think that church should be more of like um, members and then a community of believers. Um, I would say the role of the church is to be Christ's um, physical embodiment, which we're not going to be perfect at, but um, I think that's what we're called to be as a church. All right. What is the role of the gifts of the Spirit? Including like prophecy, tongues, uh, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had like a lot of experience with it, but I think that in some ways it could help us like understand a little bit more about God. Like, do they? First of all, are they still in existence? And um, second of all, like, do they? Um, like, how do they affect the church's ministry, and how, or is there no effect for the church's ministry? Is that out of the equation now? Do they, and do they affect our lives with, or like, our relationship with Christ? Are they? I think they affect everything. Um, I think it's easy to think that, like, spiritual gifts, like, the first thing when you hear the words is, like, speaking in tongues, or specific things, which in no way are those bad, and I think there's still spiritual gifts that are alive today, but, um, like, in 1 Corinthians, when Paul talks about spiritual gifts, he talks about spiritual gifts in chapter 12 and 14, and then in between them he puts a chapter all about love. And so I think that spiritual gifts go down to helping us love people. Like I, don't, I think that he um, talks about us mm -hmm. like having the Holy Spirit when, we're, uh, when we accept Christ. You know, there's a lot of different views within denominations and yeah. whatnot. Um, but I think that... Uh, the Holy Spirit has everything to do with us being able to be anything like Christ. All right, and finally, are the events of the Pentecost relevant to today's church? Yes, I would say so. Yeah, um, I think they're relevant. I don't know if the church is willing to, well, what we call the church is willing to consider them, because it sounds too much like communism, and God forbid. Um, but... Yeah, I think that if we really want to be a church that's a community of people that depend on each other, we have to be more open to sharing everything and living, I don't know, with everything in common. That's a wrap. <laughs> I hope I shouldn't have done No, it's almost, still going. I almost want to pop in front of the screen. That's a wrap. <laughs> What's a wrap? <laughs>